over here, we have this little rascal in her kennel. Uh, she tends to like choose her little, her kennel because a lot of dogs do and Dexter will go in there with her because even though these are Boston Terriers and they are nowhere near a wolf dog anymore, they are still den animals. If you give your dog the choice of some privacy and like their own little area and safe place, I guarantee you nine times out of 10, they're going to choose that den. It's a little, it's our used kennel. So anyway, she's not always in this actually. So yeah, there's uh, there's Lila. She always, she usually chooses to pick her princess bed. If she's not in here, she'll get um, on the couch sometimes with Grim. That's her, her best buddy. Or they'll sleep over there on the cot. Dog beds are great and all, but they're hard to wash. And like these cot beds are amazing because you can get all kinds of sizes and they are not expensive and you just replace them when you need to and you can hose them off, pressure washer them off, put them in the shower really quick if you need to, if they have a little doggy stench or if they get peed on. But as you can see, yes, the dogs are not always crazy wild. They are living all together freely in the house the majority of the time, and most of the time they decide to be. It looks so dark over here in your cave, Lala. You barely did anything today. You went for a car ride and slept. Anyways. Oh, Dexter, of course, has the shark, which some may recognize from a previous video. It's still alive. I believe we're going over four weeks since we got that, that shark toy and did the review, and it's still going strong. I've washed it twice. It's due for another wash, but the fins are a little messed up, but otherwise that toy is still going strong. I'm very impressed. But as you can see, this is what starts the play. I control the playtime in the house, so they kind of get the idea of all day long is not for play. I've seen and experienced dogs, not my own dogs, but of course still start sliding this because Dexter is a butt. This will go on for quite a while. But a lot, I've seen a lot of people like have dogs and stuff that will just kind of like not really know when to not play super hard in the house. And it's like a constant thing. And they're kind of like basically un, they're out of control in the house or they can't even have like a dog visiting or something without it being a constant wrestling match. But it's, you kind of like... You raise them, to, you teach them to kind of stop and start. You know, we're still obviously learning. We've got young young dogs here, so it's still a work in progress. So at this point, Lila is just shy of six months old. Grim is a little over eight months old, I believe. And um, 
Oh, there's Dexter. Dexter's five. Can't believe he's going on six. But with Lila and Grim, they basically kind of like grew up together at this point. Grim was crap, like four or five months old when we got Lila. You want to bring her the ball? Look at the baby. Good boy. A good interaction. We got Lila at two months old, of course. And during that time, which the video showed their introduction, but during that time, and still to this day, it's, you know, we, I basically, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work to keep them, you know, to keep Grim from being too rough and he's had to really learn how hard he can bite or play or how rough. So he's had to really learn how hard he can kind of play with her. And what's basically turned, what that's turned into is, I don't know if anybody's seen that movie. I even, I forgot what it's called, but it's an old movie about a great Dane that was kind of raised around dachshunds and he basically thought he was a dachshund. Well, we're pretty sure Grim kind of thinks he's a Boston Terrier. During that time when they were first you know, started to grow up together and play, I literally was on the ground, you know, at any time that they were both out. Of course, they were never out together without supervision, and that supervision consisted of me on the ground with both of them, with both of my hands, like, around Lila's body as she played, and I would have my, like, hands in Grimm's mouth to, like, basically monitor how hard he would bite. So I could kind of tell and I could tell him and he, I mean, he, he really learned quick on like how to be and he still, like they still have their days. They're still monitored. Obviously I don't have to like have my hand in his mouth uh, to keep the, I don't have to have my hand in his mouth now at this point to like let him know how hard He's, you know, to, to monitor his pressure, but I did, that's how I did it. And I don't know, that's not gonna work for every dog or everybody. And I don't suggest everybody go get a two pound puppy and put it with a young clumsy German Shepherd puppy, but we did and I knew what to do. And this is pretty typical. And what's funny is that he now will get, his butt kicked by her, of course. So he's had to spend, he basically will lay on the ground most of the time. He's very gentle with her. Dexter on the other hand is still Dexter, but I actually probably want, I watch him more with her than anything. I watch Dexter with Lila more than anything. Um, the other guys are pretty, they're pretty cool with her. Amadeus, he does stay, he, when he does come out here, if he's, you know, staying down like this and just kind of against the couch or something, like not completely in the way, well, I'll leave him here. But then, like I said, they're gonna start playing and he, I might be putting him back up. 
Because Lila's got this weird little thing that she likes to climb with big dogs when they lay down, so I just don't want her to bug them. So that's the whole thing. And even, or any of the other dogs, you know. Not even see it. Her? Amadeus, who's the puppy? Get the puppy. <laughs> okay, I hope you got that on the mic. Surprise, there's a puppy. You farted it out. Graham could definitely trip on if Amadeus wanted to start walking around or anything like that. Or this, as you can see, this is why we put them away when it's time for the young dogs to get their energy out in the house. If we're doing it in the house. And by the way, it's Florida and it's summer, or coming up on summer, and it has been storming and raining. So yes, there's been a lot of in the house getting energy out. Harvey, for the most part, will stay up there. He likes, he doesn't really want to be disturbed. That's where he likes to be. And, um, Sometimes Lila will go up there and bug him. I want to like lick his face. She doesn't try to wrestle with these guys because she just never has. So she doesn't even look at them as the one to wrestle with. But she'll go up there and lick his face and it annoys him so he like gets up and moves himself. And at that point, I'll also put him in the dog den with Amadeus just so they can have some peace and quiet. They don't really want to be bothered. Obviously you can see Lila's got some, she's grown, so that's one thing to not have to worry about is how petite and tiny she was. As you can see, this is a good little first interaction. Is this how you should introduce any six month old puppy to that's triple, quadruple, 10 times the size of the other puppy. No, I don't, it's not. This is how I introduced, this is how I wanted to introduce this dog to this puppy. This puppy to this puppy, basically. Hey, reminder. Dexter, we had to monitor with this part because we were a second ago, he yelps because he shakes it so hard that he, throw, he like hurts his neck, so. Grim helps. I think it's good for Grim to now to just let go and give it up. So Grim's got this obsession with like Lila's tiny pink toys. This is the third one that he's stolen. He doesn't really destroy them, he just does, I don't know what he's doing, but he likes to just hold them and put them in his mouth and squeak them. He's kind of taking the foot off, but this is the same brand as the, the shark. So it's lasted a lot longer than any other one as well, even though it's tiny. Get him, Lala. He's got your toy. Here, get him. Really? Not gonna figure that one out. It went over. Will he trade? Is that what you wanted, Graham, from a trade?
Some people might say, you know, oh, you have toys around while this new little critter is running around his mouth. He's not toy possessive. We were very, well, good. Ah, ah. Good. Graham's a gentle dog by nature, but he's a puppy. Good boy, easy. Good boy. Ah. He is um, seeing her, ah, her little motions and he's copying. And because it makes her nervous, she actually stops. It's almost like she's communicating to him that that scared her. But then of course she's a puppy, so here we go. As you can see, Lila's not the tiny petite puppy she used to be a few months ago. She's still pretty small, especially compared to Grim. When Dexter gets involved, that's why I gave him a Himalayan dog chew to just kind of like, so I could capture a little bit of this because if he gets involved, like too involved, he's so intense with Grim and they, and Grim can kind of handle it and obviously Dexter can handle Grim's size. Um, she will back off and like stay on the couch or go on a dog bed and like stay in a she'll find like a safe She'll find like a safe zone While they like get cray cray. So that's kind of what we're getting out of them today, but As far as like Grim and Lila go they are fine. They do really well together Grim's learned very well to just you know to be really gentle and to give up toys or to just drag her around gently. He usually is like this where he lays down and she's jumping around him like a jungle gym and taking some toys and clean it. She goes in there and chews on his lips and licks his teeth and it's just, it's a kind of a mess, but. They can share a toy very, very easily together to an extent, which fun, what's funny is that if anything, she will get tired of him having it and, and go at him to get it and he will, Yelp and run away. Not run away, but he'll back off. Right, Lila? Are you the brat? Lila's the brat? Yeah. And also, she's not super, she doesn't seem to be super fearful, which is amazing. More to come. Oh, Lord. Is that thunder, Lala? You don't care. Harvey cares that there's thunder. All right guys, that's gonna end the video. Everybody's back to being tired, I guess. And now that the couch is totally annihilated per usual, we're done. So there's kind of just like a little look into the dogs and how they get along and a little bit of them playing and stuff like that for compared to, I guess, when she first was introduced. But yep, they all live together, even though the older guys get their their privacy when needed and these guys kind of have run of the house as long as someone's out here with them. And Graham's a pretty gentle dog with Lila because he thinks he's the same size. Hey, watching the house? Grim, what are you doing? Scared? You looking for people to get scared of? Yeah, uh-huh. All right, well, if you made it this far, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, all that fun stuff. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.